Today we're going to talk about iTunes backup files and how to get it from your USB drive or a Google Drive link that was sent to you by your data recovery specialist like myself onto your computer so then iTunes can recognize it and you can restore that onto your new iPhone and recover all your data. So in today's video we're going to walk through that whole process. So hi, I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs. Thanks a lot for tuning in for the channel. Make sure you smash that like button. If you like these tutorials, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and share this video with all your friends. Let me know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see on the channel. Don't forget to check out the links down below in the description because I have a cool repair shop related t-shirts like this one. They're for sale and I also have some other common micro soldering tools that you can buy as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So in today's example, we're gonna walk through a Google Drive download where I've sent you a link to download your iTunes backup file. So you'll see something like this, where you get an email like this, and then you wanna click open. This will take you to a new page where you'll find the link to download the actual file to your computer. So with this file right here, you can't do anything with it yet. You're gonna get a message like this. So you can click here, download. This will save this file into your computer. So you'll probably get a message like this too. And then the size will actually depend on your specific phone. So if you had a lot of pictures, videos, then it's probably gonna be a larger file than this one. This example, it's a very small backup file. So it's only 1.5 gigs. So let's go ahead and just wait and let this download. So depending on how big your iTunes backup file is, this can take a few hours. So if it's like 200 gigs or more, you might have to leave this on overnight. So just be patient, let it download fully. Here on the bottom, you'll see the, the progress. You can see there's about 30 seconds left. So just wait it out. Once it's complete, then we'll go on to the next step. All right, so now it's done. So what you can do is actually just click on it. This will open up a folder like this. Now one thing you'll notice is the file will be just a bunch of numbers and letters, and that's actually the format of the iTunes backup file. So it looks something like this. And then what you do is you first want to extract it. So when I send you the file, you get one file that's a zip file. Essentially, the iTunes backup file is like a bunch of folders. And what I do is I zip it up into one file. So it's a super easy download for you. But once you get it, you have to extract it. Basically, take it out of this compressed file so that iTunes can see it. So here on Windows built in, you don't have to download any other extra software is uh, here at the top you'll see extract, click extract all. And then here you have to pick a location to put this file. So you can just put this anywhere. Uh, my documents works as well. So just go ahead and click select, click And then make sure you have this checked, show extract the files when complete. Because what we're gonna do is after we extract this, we're gonna move this file to a specific folder. So give it a few minutes. Now, once again, if this is a very large file, this can take an extended amount of time. So it just depends on your specific case. Also, depending on your internet speeds and your how fast your computer, that'll also vary the time these processes take. So just be patient. You know, if you have a lot of photos and videos, it's gonna take a while. And we're done, almost. Okay, here we go. So what we, you'll notice is you'll get another pop-up with the exact same file. So the one you want to care about is this one, not the one with the extract thing here on the top. So this you can close. This we could get out of the way. So this is the iTunes backup file. Remember, it's just a bunch of numbers and letters. And then what you want to do is open up this folder and then you'll see a bunch of folders like this. So this is what iTunes can translate into an iTunes backup file. If we go back one folder. So this is where we want to move to a very specific folder so that iTunes can see it. So let's just push this off to the side. So what you wanna do is hold shift on your keyboard and then click the Windows folder here. That will open a second folder. So one will contain your iTunes backup file so we can push that off to the side. And then this is the one we're gonna find the iTunes backup folder, copy this file, and then uh, we'll be pretty much done. So one of the things you wanna do is to find this specific folder. It's a little tricky. 
So there's a few different ways to do it. The easiest way is to click here in the address bar, erase that, type in percentage, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent. So essentially percent, app data percent, click enter. And that will take you to a very specific folder that you need to land on. Then there'll be a bunch of folders here. Click on Apple computer, click on mobile sync, click on backup. And this is the folder you wanna put the file I sent you after you extracted it into this folder. So it's real, real simple, just drag it and that's it. So now that this folder is there, if we open up iTunes, you'll see that it, it will now detect this backup file. All right, so open up your iTunes. Now I'm gonna get my iPhone. I'm gonna plug it in to make sure the phone is on. So imagine this is your new iPhone without your data and all your data is on that backup file. So if you get any pop-ups like this, just go ahead and cancel. We'll deal with that later. Also make sure you trust your phone on your computer. So it might ask you to ask to type in a pin or something like that. Another thing is before you do any of this, uh, make sure your this phone you have backed up all your data because I believe you will erase everything that's on it now and then you'll copy this onto here. So once you plug this in here at the top of iTunes, you'll find the little phone icon. Click on that. All right. So what you want to do now is go to Restore Backup. It's gonna give you this pop up. So just follow the instructions. Go to Settings. Go click your name at the top. Go to find my, find my iPhone, find my iPhone, and turn it off. Type in your password. Click turn off. And that should turn this off. Then you can go ahead and try again. So click OK. Then what you want to do is click restore backup. And then here you're going to get the pop up of all your iTunes backup that exists on this computer. And here you can see Jesse iPhone 7 Plus is there. So this is the one that we've transferred over from the USB drive or from the Google Drive folder. So go ahead and select it, click restore, and then it'll start the process to copy over all your photos, pictures, videos, contacts. And then on the screen, you'll see a restore in progress uh, display. And now one thing to note is there's actually two types of iTunes backups. There's a regular iTunes backup. And then if you see here on the screen, there's one that says encrypt local backup. If you do an encryption with your iTunes backup, what happens is it actually clones over everything. So all your apps, even like uh, WhatsApp uh, messages, stuff like that. So if you need very specific app data, then make sure you request a full iTunes backup, make sure you mention which apps you care about because this is critical. If you only want the basics, photos, videos, contacts, text, notes, that can be done with a regular iTunes backup. But if you want like specific apps that you want that data from them, then an, uh, an encrypted backup is what you need. And usually what I do is I set the, the password for the backup as the same as the pin code, or I can put whatever the customer requests. Okay, so now the backup process is complete. Just follow the on-screen instructions and get it to the home screen. From there, you'll see that all your data is recovered, so all your pictures, your videos, your contacts, it's all recovered. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, and share this video with anyone who might find this helpful. Also, this process is slightly different on a Mac, so if you wanna see that tutorial, let me know in the comments or if you have any other questions on this process. So if you made it this far and you haven't gotten a t-shirt yet, what are you waiting for? The link is in the description. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.